Traders, uh, I would like to summarize my day, go quickly through my trades. And uh, here's my PL for today. As you can see, I've got a fantastic winner today in Tesla. That's my best trade today, up almost 11 grand. Um, you can see a small loser in win, but that actually hides three trades two losing trades and one winner. And the result is down $2,000. So I did not do well in win, just one winner, but uh, did manage somehow to reduce my loss and OXY. End result is over $10,000. And, um, you know, I want to start with the fact that yesterday I was up, was it $24,000? I can't remember. So I had a great day yesterday. And the way I started trading today was the first idea that came into my mind today is that I need to be very, very, very careful. And my first trade today, which was OXY, that's why it was with relatively small size. So you can see that OXY actually made a great move here. I was posting it under 2250 right over here. And look at how it went down. I mean, it went down two points. And of course, my partial was before that, but I did not do it with uh, with full size. I was very much concerned of, you know, feeling a little bit invincible of, after what happened yesterday. And therefore, I was very cautious about what happened uh, uh, about my first trade. And it took me a little bit more time to trade it because, again, I took into consideration the fact that I could be coming with a lot of, with too much, uh, with, with, with too much, um, you know, um, uh, possibly thinking that I could uh, win again and, you know, uh, and and just had to reduce my size and be a little bit more careful. So, uh, and, there came, and then came uh, win. So if you watch win, you can see uh, several trades I took. There was nothing wrong about my first trade. My first trade in win was under 103, which was right over here for a short. There was nothing wrong about it. It came down, it pulled back up, it did not pull back up too much. It came down and there was a short under 103, which I was looking for one point. I didn't get it. It was very close, just 20 something sec cents away, but uh, just didn't work out. And then spiked over and I had my stop loss right here and uh, then went long. So that was my second trade in win. I went long here thinking, well, it definitely proved to me that it wants to continue higher and it did that and then it spiked over the highs I had a long here over 104 a whole number so it looked kind of okay at that time but it failed we mentioned yesterday one one of the biggest uh, was it yesterday one of the biggest reversal formations is when you move to a new high a nice breakout like just what happened here nice resistance point a whole number just moved up a few cents and then fails that's one of the strongest technical signs for a reversal and that's why my third trade in win came along over 10280 the point of 10280 was right over here and uh, I did close my long trade. I believe it was 103. So I, I, I'm already now having two losing trades in win. Not trying to make up and go back to green territory with win. Just trying to reduce my loss. Actually, not even doing that. Just accepting the fact that win is more likely to come down. And why? Because of this very strong reversal sign and the way it came down afterwards. Now you need to add to that the fact that the S&P was moving lower at that time, moving lower to a new low. So I did get the support of the S&P and I thought, well, wind's going to do well and did short it and it did work well. It did reduce my size. It did not put me in green territory with wind. But anyway, my third trade worked out. Um, then I had uh, my third trade in win and then I had one more trade in Tesla and Tesla was very, very clear. Gapped up, to, gapped down, tried to move higher, came down, was very, very clearly trending lower. And then I posted Tesla for short at the 931.40. And why is that? Because the low was 931 or close to it. So you've got a, you've, you've got a breakdown at 931. It looks like if it's going to come down under... 931.40 uh, as I posted it it's going to come down under the lows and it clearly did that and again I would say one more th a thing that I usually say if you look for a short or you look for a long usually should take the point where you expect a breakdown or you expect 
uh, a breakout. You don't move at the breakdown or at the breakout point. This way you improve your risk reward. There are certain points where you have the feeling that you've got, let's call it over 80% chance that it's actually going to make it. I've talked about Facebook a few minutes ago and it did the same. Uh, entry point was supposed to be before the highs. It's not to take a trade I took, but that was the same for Tesla. You take a trade when you expect it to make the move, not when it actually makes the move. And Tesla did move under the lows, pulled back a bit, but continued. Market was definitely helping at that time. The reason Tesla is moving back up is because the market's now doing the same thing. That's quite unexpected to see the market coming down with such a big downside momentum and now moving over the highs. Uh, we could have seen it here on the first spike up that was when I started closing all my short trades. And you know what? Fine. Market decided to change direction. You could think about changing direction too when the market does the, the same. So there are several stocks that are now moving higher. There are several stocks that you can uh, follow uh, using the market. We talked about Facebook, which still looks good for a long right over here. And um, Netflix and other. But anyway, again, we always follow the market. I did so with Tesla, with my second, my third trade in win, with OXY, and the end result is great. I'm very happy to have uh, such a green day. And therefore, again, I wish you a great uh, trading session today. Um, and uh, you, we had a great lesson yesterday, I believe. I really enjoyed my lesson yesterday in the Star Trader course. There's continuation, of course, today. Star, Star Trader course continues today. And um, I'll see you all tomorrow, traders. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much for being here with me. And um, again, you guys on YouTube, if you don't mind giving us a thumb up, that would be highly appreciated. Thank you again. See you all tomorrow. Bye, traders. Thank you for watching our video. The material was taken from The Market Whisperer, my Amazon best-selling book. This essential guide to stock trading is ideal for those with no background or experience in stock trading. Click here to read the 200-page part 1 of this book absolutely free. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.